Hi everyone, welcome back to our It's Good to Talk with Clients series and really, really excited today to be joined by Van Kiriazis, uh, who's the co-founder of SIFT uh, Analytics. Van, thank you very much for joining us today and if you wouldn't mind just kicking off by giving a brief introduction to yourself and SIFT. No, sure David. Uh... Great to be on with you. Uh, looking forward to today's chat as well. Uh, and nice to be using uh, Connect4 for the first time as well. So uh, I'm one of the co-founders over at SIFT. I actually started as an accountant uh, in practice myself. Uh, started by, I had my own accounting practice. We were serving clients across tax, payroll, and accounting. And from there, the idea of SIFT came about. Uh, we were trying to report to our clients who were non-technical, non-financial in a very visual way. Uh, we wanted to get them a monthly report that helped them understand their business and something they could uh, make decisions with. Uh, and that was sort of the, the founding of SIFT about four and a half years ago, uh, trying to make reporting more visual, more insightful uh, for our existing clients back then. Um, and then fast forward to today, and we're sort of doing that on a, a global scale. And, and we've moved into areas like forecasting and a few other areas. So really just trying to help accountants in practice now um, do, do what we were trying to do four and a half years ago. Amazing. So thank you very much and congratulations on, on everything that you've accomplished in those those four and a half years. So I mean if we can kind of dive um, you know straight into your background as an accountant and, and that being where SIFT was born out of. So could you just you know run me through your experience about talking with clients uh, you know when you were running your own practice you know how did you go about doing it in terms of medium frequency what what were you looking to what were you looking to do what were some of the things that that yeah that you did in terms of your own um, type of communication 100% so i think uh, client interaction is is always critical in an accounting practice uh, i think a lot of well, a lot of our business came from uh, word of mouth and, and sort of referrals. And that's sort of driven by having like a deep relationship with your clients. Now, that relationship forms over time, uh, but it, it builds up. The more you engage with one another, the more you chat, whether it's uh, telephonically or in person. Uh, I think every sort of little interaction should, sort of adds to that. Uh, and help sort of build that rapport between yourself and your client. Now, um, Zoom and sort of digital meetings were not a thing that we did at all four and a half years ago. Uh, it was always telephonic or face-to-face. -face. Unfortunately, there was no sort of ability to just jump on a, a quick uh, video call and, and catch up with the clients. It was all uh, telephonic and a lot of in-person uh, chats. So uh, we based in South Africa, and I think... Typically, uh, clients would range. Uh, I, get, I guess the demographic of your client was uh, typically, uh, let's say, 40 to 60 being like a, a business owner. Uh, they would want to see you in person at their premises or maybe at your offices. Uh, they want to see you, as I say, face to face. Uh, but I would also try give clients a call on a monthly basis and I'd tie that phone call in. Uh, with the management accounts that I was providing to them. So I used that opportunity of delivering a set of uh, management reports on how their business had done for the previous month or the previous two months. Uh, and I'd use that as a talking point, uh, but also an opportunity to give them a ring, see how things were going and what was sort of on the horizon. Fascinating, fascinating. So a couple of things I'm really taking away from that, the, you know, the critical importance you placed on client communication and how... You know how that was important to the relationships with the clients themselves but also how that played into the sort of the word of mouth that spread about you as a firm and um you know generated new clients and then also you know seeing the the sort of the set pieces that you were delivering in your work so you you cite the example of management accounts there as an opportunity to spark a conversation not just a, a deliverable in its own right but but an opportunity to uh, you know to create that conversation and, and and see where that goes i think you're right we can be super sort of automated and we, we can have lots of sort of emails going off and uh, sort of make our whole process as streamlined as possible uh, but i think at the end of the day it is a, a relationship and a service we're providing uh, to our clients so the ability to talk with them to engage with them in a in an oral sort of two-way conversation that's not uh, asynchronous and that's real time is is critical for a client's engagement. If it's always email and always just ticking the boxes and getting things done, I think you lose that human touch, which in a service business, 
uh, such as an accounting firm, uh, is critical. You know, you want to build that rapport. Uh, you want your client to be that trusted advisor to your clients. Uh, and the, the further down that relationship you go, uh, the more likely your clients are to refer you uh, within their circles because they know you, they trust you, uh, and there is a relationship there. It's not just uh, they're paying for uh, some emails and some compliance work every month. Uh, they know you, they like you, and, and they're willing to share that with other people. Really interesting. Yeah, that that's such an interesting perspective that the kind of, you know, it's not just getting things done. It's about the opportunity for the human touch. They're not just sort of playing you to uh, to complete a task. There, there's the huge kind of relationship need and, and benefit on top of that. So, I mean, if we can move from that van into um, into accountants communicating with their clients today, you'll obviously have a perspective on this from when you were in practice and were you know, competing against other other accounting firms and you'll have the perspective that you have now in SIFT and working with lots of accounting firms to, to help them, you know, work with their clients. You know, how do accountants communicate with their clients? What do they do well? What what do they not do well? And and you know, how are how are they getting better? Where is the where is the room still needed for improvement? I think accountants, I, I still think there's a gap in not spending enough time uh, talking with our clients, not having a communication like this where you face to face or, as I said, telephonic earlier. I think we, we default, we've got these huge laundry lists of things to do, uh, tax deadlines to meet, payroll deadlines to meet, that we end up trying to do things as quickly and possible as possible and losing that human touch. I think, uh, obviously, through the pandemic with, within 2020, uh, the use of sort of video chats has become sort of a standard amongst all clients and accountants. So I think guys are willing to jump on a quick Zoom or Google Meet or, of course, Connect4 in, in, our, in our case. Um, and that's been great because it has it's reduced that travel time that was previously required to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, so I think there's definitely been benefits from a communication perspective uh, from 2020 and, and going into this year. Um, I do think we need more real-time communication, though, as emails and stuff are great, but this instant, real-time, uh, things come up when it's real-time. You know, in an email, you try to be as short and to the points as possible, uh, but in a conversation like this, uh, the conversation can drift. We can talk about different topics. We can talk about things that are coming up. Uh, there's more scope to expand the, the sort of agenda of a conversation, whereas... Uh, email can be a little bit limited. Um, I do think there is there can be, maybe going forward, the abilities for more sort of real-time chat communication between sort of clients uh, and accountants. So I think that might be an underserved area uh, at the moment. So I think obviously telephone, email, uh, video call has been sort of, uh, is now commonplace, but maybe more along sort of the chat realm where uh, maybe it's real time or sort of semi real time, but the ability to sort of communicate in a chat interface, maybe through alerts, maybe through an app uh, is somewhere that still maybe needs to evolve a bit further. I'm not sure, David, if, if you've seen anything on, on that front, but I think uh, a busy business owner or a client sometimes wants to use their mobile device to sort of interact with you maybe doesn't have time for the, the 30 minutes connect for chats or video call uh, at the moment. And maybe a couple messages could off outside of your standard messaging platforms that are a little bit more tailored towards their numbers, their business um, and sort of their documents. I don't know what your thoughts on that are. Yeah, really interesting. I mean, I love the the, the emphasis on real time um, communication and yeah, that sort of idea of, you know, email is very, is very linear as a uh, as a communication um you know medium asynchronous as it is and so the, you know i really love the idea of sort of almost engineered serendipity right which you get in conversation and you get those sort of sparks of of ideas um and, and opportunities that can arise that that don't you know when it's uh when it's a more sort of you know structured linear form um as you as you get with email um so no i, I think that's that's really um that's really fascinating where in terms of you know where things are and, and where the opportunities um still remain you mentioned a bit about the the effect of the pandemic i mean i don't know if you had anything else to add in terms of you know the changes that you know, you've seen that bring about in terms of client communication over the over the last year. Speaking more maybe towards, uh, I guess, the South African markets, it's it's definitely gone from this traditional face to face 
to fully online, fully video enabled, uh, less. And I think there's been huge benefits for both accountants and business owners in that. Uh, less travel time, you know, 30 minutes either way, uh, you sort of start to lose time and it becomes unproductive. Uh, so you can be more productive. I think um, it, it has pushed that sometimes the, the value of a face-to-face -face conversation uh, can be great too. You know, it does maybe build, uh, let's say this is strictly in person now, it does, can build that sort of extra rapport, you know, rather than always uh, video. Uh, I do think video is greater than sort of uh, the telephone chat. And if there's a really smooth, slick platform to jump on, uh, to have a quick chat. And it, it does require education, though, still. I think it's it sort of fast-forwarded us, the pandemic, to everyone being educated, everyone wanting to be on it and have to know how to use it. So, so that's been great there. Um, but I think we still need a little bit extra just to make sure it's like a seamless and it's perfect and we're not sitting uh, five minutes trying to get things sort of sorted and <laughs> technical difficulties at times, uh, which can sort of uh, happen at the moment. But definitely positive effects of, of the pandemic Pandemic there. Uh, can we can we use it, you know? Can we make sure that uh, at the end of the day, at, will our clients want to adopt the technology as well? I think, David, is, is the challenge, you know? Maybe they're not fans of video communication, um, although, yes, it's easier for them to talk to us and they can talk to us more often as, as accountants. Will they adopt it? Will they engage with it? Uh, and I think there's still going to be challenges of um, the accountant sort of in, ensuring that these chats do happen, you know, whether they are on video or face to face. So still not, not going to be really easy, but uh, I think it's moved. It's sort of been like a step jump where we had this linear pro movement towards it. The pandemic was the step jump and, and it's sort of commonplace now. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that idea of it's a um, it's catalyzed trends that were already already in the offing. Yes, yes. And so, great. So, I mean, let's move on to Sift as a as a platform itself. How how good are accountants at, at explaining kind of your software and, and its outputs to um, to their clients? What do you what and, and you know what do you do to help them around that? And so you know in answering those questions, if you're okay to um, to just give a brief kind of share about at a high level about SIF, that would be that would be amazing. Sure, David. So I think it's uh, we do try to help our accounting partners uh, to get up and running on SIFT. I think it's it's always difficult to implement a new system. So uh, an accountant comes to SIFT and they're looking to automate their clients forecasting and reporting via SIFT. Now, uh, I guess that's the, the premise at the beginning, but there's a whole lot of steps that go into that training, onboarding, the actual communication with the clients. Look, we're moving towards this. Uh, there's going to be an additional fee or there's no additional fee. We just want to provide your business with some deeper insights. How do we communicate this with how do we implement, I think, is, is the tricky part. Initially with, with the clients and then ongoing with the clients later on as an accountant that adopts SIFT. Um, so at first, you, you've got your accountants and they, they want to um, roll out SIFT within their practice. They need to inform their clients that we'll be de delivering this monthly or quarterly report. We can also provide forecasting to you. We provide our accountants with uh, templates, email templates in our practice implementation guide that they can sort of copy paste and, and send off to their clients to introduce the service to them. Uh, we also provide email templates for our accounting partners of how they can deliver a monthly report uh, to their clients, what they can say, what they can highlight. Um, although the reports have a significant amount of commentary within the report, a lot of that commentary can be automated. And we do recommend that accountants add uh, some additional comments to the, the email body. Now, email is a very, as I said, uh, sort of old school way of, of interacting with data. Some of our accountants actually invite their clients into SIFT, into a dashboard. It can be a branded sort of white label dashboard uh, where the client can interact with their data real time. Uh, I think we can also do more from SIFT side to empower accountants and clients to communicate together, though, David. We, we don't have 
uh, built in chats or communication between clients and accountants at the moment. So although your, your clients on your beautifully white label dashboard with all of your branding and they're interacting with their data, they can't ask you a question there and then, um, and you can't reply within our dashboard. Uh, but that is an area we want to explore in more detail. Uh, we also want to explore rolling out a mobile application on iOS and Android. Uh, this could power things like alerts and notifications, uh, but also two-way communication between uh, clients and accountants around questions on financials, uh, questions on movements, things along those lines. Uh, so at the moment, the majority of our accountants are delivering reports via email to their clients and then perhaps scheduling a chat uh, or their clients are logging in automatically, or they're doing a video call where they're screen sharing and um, they're explaining the numbers to a client, presenting it in a board meeting. Uh, we're definitely a fan of the, the latter where it's more real time. Uh, but of course, if you're an accountant and you've got 100 clients uh, to report to on a monthly basis, it's also not feasible to have a 30 minute chat with with every single one of them every month. Uh, so I think it's it's going to be dependent. Uh, can you price for certain services? Uh, but I definitely think on top of that email, you maybe want to have a quick phone call. It's a nice uh, it's a nice talking point to sort of introduce um, the report to them, their numbers, and then to talk a little bit more about their business. So uh, it's a great way to strike up a conversation with your clients. Amazing, amazing. And are you all set to do a, a quick kind of two minute screen share fantastic so i've just navigated over to sift uh david can you see it on your side yeah perfectly thank you great so uh, this is the sift dashboard you can connect as many clients as you like from zero quickbooks online or sage accounting we also allow for excel imports of trial balances for clients that are not on cloud accounting and we've got QuickBooks Desktop coming soon. Um, if I just navigate back to the SIFT dashboard, uh, one of our favorite features amongst accounting practices is the ability to monitor their client base at a very high level. So all of your clients' P&Ls, balance sheets, and key KPIs at a very high level. The feature set then centers on probably three or four core functions. Uh, one of our favorites is reporting where you can download a branded PDF report pack for your clients very, very quickly. It's sort of a single click download and you'll have a PDF report. I went ahead and just downloaded one earlier. It would take a few seconds, um, but really, really simple to understand, uh, clean visuals, very colorful, um, and it's really, we want it to be easy for a non-financial client to sort of take in and understand. And of course, this can be fully branded for your practice. Um, other than that, on a more ad hoc basis, your clients may request things like forecasts. Will I run out of money in the next 30 or 60 days? And I'm applying for finance and I need a very uh, integrated forecast amongst my P&L balance sheets and cash flow. So we've got a suite of forecasting tools that you can use for your clients on a more ad hoc basis. Um, and then if you're using the dashboard, you may want to just visualize data on screen. Uh, so you've got a variety of options just to interact with your data, play around with the date ranges, uh, whether it's in a client meeting uh, or your clients interacting with the dashboard by themselves as well. The last sort of feature, David, is consolidation. So that's around combining multiple entities into a single reporting group. And that can be either single currency or multi-currency. Um, yeah, that's that's just to give you a bit of an overview of sort of what SIF does. Um, yeah, I don't know if you had any questions on it or anything you want to do dive into in more detail. No, that is that is perfect. So thank you very thank you very much for that. I'm sure everyone watching will have um, will have found that really useful. And the the only thing to just ask on top of that, Van, is how can people find out more about you and SIFT? Sure, uh, visit our website. It's siftanalytics.com. Um, so siftanalytics.com, you can sign up for a 14 day free trial on the website. Uh, there's also a little chat bottom right of your screen if you want to interact with uh, one of our, our sales staff uh, there and then. Uh, we also have a weekly webinar for accountants in practice. Uh, that's at 2 p.m. every Thursday afternoon. Uh, so join our webinar, take a look around. It's 30 minutes and we'll just take you through SIFT in a bit more detail. You can also, of course, always book a one-on-one -on -one demo uh, with the team. But best place, David, siftanalytics.com. Uh, start your search there and, and 
and uh, you, you, you'll have all the information, pricing, and the ability to jump on a 14-day free trial. Amazing. Well, Van, thank you very much. It's been great to talk. It's good to talk with clients. So thank you very much for your time. Awesome, David. Great to be on the platform for the first time and really enjoyed the chat. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, short interview. Uh, my name is Andrew Jordan. I am the uh, CEO at Connect4. Uh, please do book a demo. Click on book a demo and we will love to talk you through our platform uh, and to show it in action. And uh, yeah, great to have you with us.